Hey, it's Dave from Bullpen Cycles, and this is my 1970 Royal Enfield Series 2 750 Interceptor. Today, we're going to see if it starts. This is actually one of the fastest production motorcycles of its time. 750, which goes back, boy, to the Series 1 in the early 60s. Now, this is different than those. You lost the magneto. You moved your points into here. You got a breather. You got an oil filler cap over here instead of the breather. This is a Series 2 in 1970. It had Norton Road Holder front forks like an Atlas or an early Commando. There's your oil cooler. This one has Dunstall pipes and Coney shocks. So think of it. In 69, you had the Triumph Trident, which just came out. BSA Rocket 3 and the Honda 754 cylinder. And this challenged them all. 55 horsepower, 13.8 and 100 miles an hour in a quarter mile with a top speed of about 120 miles an hour. I had this bike, oh, I sound like a broken record. Oh, almost 10 years, maybe eight. I got it from Connecticut, which is a no title state. At the time I lived in Pennsylvania and I couldn't title it. I kept getting hits on the four digit VIN because it always comes up as something else. If you're only using four digits, there's a lot of combinations that are probably used by other manufacturers. So between titling it and getting it running, Oh, it was an adventure. The worst part of it being that someone added electronic ignition. In my mind, there's nothing worse than 20, 30 year old electronic ignition. It's like having an old Commodore 64 computer and trying to get it to work. This now, I wasn't sure if this was original or not. All of them that you see have a chrome tank. And this was so nicely done that I thought perhaps it's original. But in time, the clear coat is cracking. So somebody repainted that. I don't know why. It also has true period Dunstalls on it and Coney shocks. So it's not 100% right but it's period. The thing about the last interceptors that I like is you got the good Norton road holder front end and the Norton brake. That was a big improvement. Lots of other subtle changes too. Now, I think, I think it's gonna start had it running on the bench but only briefly then I had to put it together I haven't run it since we had some oil leaks that I hope I fixed and if it starts starts that's a victory I don't know if I'm gonna on top of that try to go for a ride I guess I probably don't need the center stand we'll leave it key I never like the key down here where you can't see it that's so stupid I'm not using choke I got nothing. Woo. 
right, we're gonna tickle it a little more. So close, so close and just so far. both cylinders carburetors sound like they're out of sync we're getting there <laughs> 